Hi, and thanks for joining me, Emma Louise Hamilton at the Amazon Dream. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you get notified when I next release a video. I recently asked members in the Amazon FBA Dream Facebook group if they have ever tried private labelling before. The majority of members said no, with the main reason being they did not know where to start. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and showing you how you can start looking for your first private label product. I am currently looking at adding a private label product to my inventory, which will complement my existing retail and online arbitrage business. I'm going to bring you along with me and show you the process. By the end of this video, you will know how to supercharge your Amazon FBA business by finding profitable private label products, the key things to look out for, and the item that I found that makes over £145,000 per year. I'm going to head over to ScreenShare and show you how easy it is to find profitable private label products within seconds. The tool I'm going to be using for my product research is AMZ Scout. It comes with a free trial which may be all you need to find your first product. It is an all-in-one Chrome extension that streamlines product research for private labelling. I will leave the link in the description box where you can download this tool. Once installed you will see the AMZ Scout logo in the toolbar. Additionally you will see it in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. This is an important feature within the tool which I'll come onto shortly. Now we are ready to start our product research. The first step is to add your keyword into the search bar and hit enter. Once you do that, you will see that the AMZ Scout logo at the bottom begins to load and a number from 1 to 10 will appear. This is giving you an indication as to whether this is a good niche to target. As we can see, AMZ Scout is giving this an 8, which indicates that this may be a good product for us to look further into. To do that, we simply click the AMZ logo in the toolbar and this page will appear, which will give you lots of analytical data. For private labeling, you don't need to recreate the wheel. What tends to work well are everyday products that people use again and again. My niche is collapsible reusable straws because back in October 2018, the government announced plans to ban plastic straws in the UK. They announced that the ban may come into force anywhere between October 2019 and October 2020. Since then, we have seen a surge in large corporations attempting to move away from plastic straws. One of these have been McDonald's. However, there has been a backlash from consumers due to the quality of the paper straws, reason being they seem to be dissolving within people's drinks. And this is when the idea of a portable reusable straw came to mind. Bringing a private label to market must solve the needs and wants of consumers. The next thing is to check out the current demand for the item, level of competition and profitability of the item. This is where the tool can help. And if you are struggling to find niche ideas, the handy thing about this tool is the niche idea generator. Click this and a list of profitable niches will display. Let's dive deep into the results for my niche. So firstly, the tool has returned the results in numerical order as they appear in the Amazon search results. We have the sponsored listings here at the top, which we can simply remove by pressing the red cross. You can also use this to remove any results that do not match your criteria. Then we have the best sellers rank, the current selling price, the FBA fees associated with selling this item, estimated sales per month, estimated revenue per month and the number of reviews which gives us an indication of how competitive this niche is. Additionally, there is a column for when the products were originally listed. Most of these are fairly new as they were listed last year, such as this one here, which was listed in August and is already making over 14K estimated revenue per month, which is well over £160,000 per year. It is not very common for people to share the private label products they have found. However, I hope you appreciate it as it is quite important to show you the product so that I can show you the exact data so you can start to understand how the tool works. There are also extra features which you can find under the options tab such as the inventory checker which will tell you the stock levels of other sellers. So we can see the quantity that other sellers have in stock and it is varying from about 60 
up into about 100. The niche score is 8 out of 10 which is extremely positive as it means this item is very likely to succeed. The niche score feature is handy as if you are new to product research of private label it gives you a helping hand in analysing the data by splitting it into profit, demand and competition. In terms of profit the data is telling us that there are very high margins with this item and prices start at about $15. This is reassuring as we need to know there is enough profit after FBA fees, unit costs and shipping. We will delve deeper into finding manufacturers and calculating profits so keep watching until the end. The demand for this item is great, it says that it has very high sales so therefore the sales velocity is high. It says the niche is quite old, personally I think this isn't a issue as you want an item that has demonstrated its consistency and demand over time as opposed to an item that is simply a trend and no one will be interested in. What immediately springs to mind is fidget spinners from a few months ago. If you remember those they were a big trend and now they have now died out therefore the tool is saying this niche is quite old but to me that isn't personally an issue so moving on to competition overall it is saying competition is strong so let's find out why firstly it says it is a unsaturated niche and you will be competing with few sellers there are very few reviews it says you can get sales with zero to two reviews if i head over looking at the reviews we can indeed see that one of the sellers has the large majority of reviews at 117 after that reviews are pretty low overall and there is no one really dominating Next it says Amazon are not selling this item which is good. Then we have very low top brand competition. So we will not be competing with famous brands which is key. We do want to steer clear of brand dominated niches as it can be hard to make a real impact. This item has low average rating. This is indicating to me that there is room for improvement with the actual product itself. And in the ratings column, there are no listings that really have strong five star reviews. There are strategies we can use to ensure our product fills the gap that buyers disliked about products within this niche. These last two points in red are the reason why it is saying there is strong competition with this item. The items within this niche have great listings. It will be challenging to create equal quality listings of the product. I think that there is always room for improvement so we would go in, analyse the existing listings and see where we can find those improvements. And finally it says the item is extremely monopolistic. You will need to compete with a lot of very strong sellers. This essentially means that there will be a few sellers who are dominating this niche and as we saw from the reviews this is actually correct as there is one seller that has the majority of reviews for their listing within this niche. This is further confirmed by looking at the estimated sales. The seller with the most reviews is shifting over 2k units per month whilst the other sales are split pretty evenly between the other sellers and certainly shows that the niche is monopolistic with just the one particular seller who is quite strong but other than that there is definitely room for another seller i.e. me within this niche. Another powerful feature within AMZ Scout is the saturation score. It actually tells you how many other sellers have found this niche this month, which is pretty phenomenal. As we can see, there is only one other seller who has found this niche this month. Therefore, you can see that I am really sharing with you a powerful niche, which is a viable business idea and it has not been found by many other sellers. Now onto the exciting part. To find manufacturers and calculate profits, select any of the search results a new role will appear with even more features so firstly we have the profit calculator once selected it will tell you that the price the item is currently selling at which is 10.99 now we need to find out how much profit we will make if we sell this item and to find this out simply navigate to the find at alibaba tab and this will take us to the alibaba page for the exact keyword that we search for on amazon first result fits our keyword which is a folding drinking stainless steel straw and it is coming out at $1.85 however I do think we can get this a little cheaper so I'm going to amend the keyword I have amended the keyword slightly and now we can see we are getting results from 90 cents to 35 cents so just to be fair I'm going to put $1 into our calculator over on AMZ Scout 
I'm just checking the current conversion rate. So $1 is about 77 pence. I'm going to input a product cost of 77 pence. Then it automatically calculates the storage fees, referral fee, and most importantly, the profit per unit. Therefore, for this item, we can see the profit per unit will be £3.90 and it has an estimated monthly profit of over £6,000. I'm going to mention a few of the key features within this tool before we wrap up. So we have the product history tool, which gives us a graph of sales, rank and price over time. So in terms of the sales, the dates on the bottom are every four days and we can see that this seller is making a lot of sales. So it ranges from about 30 up into 120 every four days. So he is shifting a lot of units. It is extremely efficient and useful that the product history graphs are embedded within the tool. As ordinarily, I would use another tool such as Keeper to check this information out, but it saves a lot of time seeing as it is embedded within the tool. In terms of rank, we can see originally the rank was quite high, but as the seller has established themselves in this market, they have consistently stayed at a low rank of below 1000. As we know, the lower the rank, the better, as this means they're consistently getting sales. As there are no major peaks, this would indicate that this is not a seasonal product and that it sells all year round. The price graph is pretty self-explanatory. We are able to monitor the price over a period of time. The price for this item has stayed pretty consistent. It has fluctuated from between $6.99 down to 635 but apart from that there's not been much movement which gives me confidence in this product that the price is stable in terms of the average sales price for this item it is on the lower end for a private label product therefore i will look into offering a premium product within this niche which will help to increase the selling price of this item and the niche keywords feature is a really great addition as it gives you intel into the actual keywords that the other sellers are using on their listing. And this can be useful when we come to creating a title and listing on Amazon. I have given you an overview of the AMZ Scout Chrome extension. Hopefully this has demonstrated how powerful the tool is, especially for beginners, as it breaks everything down for you with the niche score feature. And it also makes things super easy to begin finding your product from manufacturers. Now that you have been equipped with the knowledge in how to use a product research tool, I would love to know if you are going to start looking for private label products. Do let me know down below in the comment section. If you have found anything useful in this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I next release a video. I've been Emma Louise Hamilton and I make videos all about Amazon FBA, mindset and entrepreneurship. Take care for now. Bye!